Amazing! Whoa! She was able to hold her own against that monster! She's really something else! I gotta push myself harder. Wait, does that mean you want to get even tougher? Uh, yeah. Got a problem with that? Not at all. Just means I'll have to try harder too. At any rate, I'm surprised she could keep up with the captain. Unless he was holding back. Considering our captain's customary crudeness, to conduct himself that courteously is inconceivable. True. As a result, we were able to clearly see her real abilities. No complaints here. Give her a pass. What say you, Amlet? That weapon symbolizes the anti-Valkyria squad. While you wield it, you are one of- Oh, Miranda, you did it! Yes! All right, let's get it on with a welcome party. To the tavern! Why not go to my place? There's plenty to eat and drink there! Hey, you guys, think of the situation we're in. Stay in the cafeteria. <gasps> Brother. Huh? What's up? Mm, nothing. You waiting for those two? I wonder what's holding them up. Bah! There he goes again, confabulating with Miss Ophelia. Perhaps that peasant ought to be put in his proper place. I'll go hurry them along. No, it's fine. Let's get going. Was I too forward? No. Tis strange. Before he passed away, I took for granted how often he protected me. How much I depended on him. Only now do I realize how hard it is to be strong on my own. Until we defeat the Valkyria, we'll never know true liberty. Thus, I wish to find my own strength. For Jutland and Godot. That's the first time you've ever said anything about stopping the Valkyria. Do you want vengeance for what it did to Godot? I would be lying if I said revenge had not occurred to me. For when Godot fell, I felt naught but a blinding hatred. By now, I've witnessed many soldiers fall in battle. I used their sacrifices to hold myself upright, to stay motivated. But watching Godot die before my eyes, there was nothing righteous about my anger. Just a selfish intent to kill. However, my vengeful desires are subsiding. 
replaced by a newfound determination to fight for my country and people. That's because you're royalty. Perhaps. Not all of us have the responsibilities of a princess to distract us from the pain of loss. <sighs> Please wait. It is just as you say. I grew up in a palace, the lap of luxury. Tis true, I knew nothing of hardship, let alone how to deal with my emotions. Are you going to deny your true feelings? Huh? I've been thinking about what the prince said, that we invaded Ipsiria. I've also been thinking about what you said to him. It's all a matter of perspective, really. Just so. I, the liberating princess, he, the invaded prince. Still, why does he reject his crown and countrymen for ruse? He'll turn up again. When he does, ask him. And what will you do then? Protect you, that is all. Everyone's waiting for us. I'll catch up later. Still want to get in some practice. Very well. I will let the others know. For Jutland. It's getting warmer. Everyone looks like they're enjoying the sun. It is the best season in Ruse. I would have been able to take you on a trip if we weren't at war right now. Someday, when we have the chance. I think that day will come soon. Huh? The reason why the citizens are happy isn't only because of spring. It's because our army won the previous battle. Our counterattack is starting. Look forward to it. I will.
Welcome. Come back soon. Welcome. Come again. Yo. Hey, Captain. How are you? Welcome. Yo, what do you want? 